Hey, hello, Falava. Leia Tawa, Dr. John Peterson here with TE2 Edge Sports Cards, coming at you live and direct from the Twin Cities, Minnesota. It is late on Monday night. It's probably almost 10, 10, 15. And uh, before I went to bed, I thought I'd do a little random junk wax ripping. Uh, tonight we've got 1990 Tops Big Series 1. Um, boy, I don't know that I ever bought any of these back in the day. Um, but I figured it'd be kind of fun to rip a few of these and see what we get. Um, Tops Big was something that came out, I believe, in 88 or 89. And uh, got these on an auction. Really cheap. <laughs> I don't know. I figured I'd rip a little bit of wax and see what we get. Just for fun. Hadn't, haven't ripped any wax for a little bit. Okay, here we go. Tom Bernanski, Jody Davis, Tim Wallach, Andres Big Cat Galarraga, Dave Winfield, Jose De Leon, Mitch Wild Thing Williams, Tom Foley. First box, our first pack, nada. So what are we looking for in here? Uh, I don't know if the Ken Griffey Jr. is in here. That'd be nice. Wouldn't mind picking up a Ken Griffey Jr., but I think that's in Series 2. I think Bo Jackson's in Series 1. So, PSA 10 Bo Jackson might be worth a little something. Roberto Alomar. Mitch, or Matt Williams. David Cohn. Dave Rigetti. Todd Benzinger, Kirby Puckett, that's what we're setting aside, got some of my PSA cards that I want to get graded up in the background, okay, not much there, so overall, it's been a good day, had a good weekend, did a bunch of videos on Saturday, had to delete one because I had my address on it, it was kind of stupid of me to put that on there, so, a mail day reveal, and I had my address sitting on there. I was like, eh, I don't want everyone on YouTube to know what my address is. Uh, Welch, Chet, Bitter Lemon. Greg Jeffries. Spike Owen. Checklist. Dave Magadan. Danny Heap. Dave Stewart. He's a black belt in karate. Dave Stewart. So yeah, I did four videos, three, four videos. One I got, the, one deleted. I deleted the one with my address in it, so I only ended up with three. <clears throat> There's a Griffey Senior. Ken Herbeck. Alvaro Espinoza. Espinoza, Ron Gant. Mattingly in here is worth something a little bit too, I think. There's a McGuire. Might be worth a little. Set that aside. Ken Griffey Sr. Uh, had a basketball tournament yesterday. Boys did pretty well. We went two and one and won the consolation championship. Lost our first game by quite a few, but rallied in the second and third games and won. Last game was a close one. Won by one point. Must have been great coaching. <laughs> Kidding, of course. That was de I think I did a decent job, but kids played well. Yvonne Calderon. Jack Clark. Pat Borders. Sean Dunstan. Not too much there. So I picked this up on a Matthew Bullock auction. Sometimes Matthew Bullock has fun stuff in his auctions. Um, there aren't a ton of people, there aren't a ton of eyes on his auctions. So sometimes you can get stuff where there's only a few bidders. That's what I did with these. Dave Megadan again, Danny Heap, same pack. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think the Griffey's in series two. So the chances of getting a Griffey are pretty nil. Same pack again. Eddie Murray, there's a Clemens. Oh, there's a Yount. Tommy Glavin. Not a rookie though. It's always fun to rip some packs. Especially when it's not super high risk. This is pretty low risk stuff here. So, 1990 tops big. Which I don't know a lot of people that bought these. I bought a couple packs of the initial inaugural year. Already about six packs in, we're seeing lots of duplicates. Wouldn't mind getting about five Bo Jacksons. My guess is a PSA 10 Bo Jacksons worth at least a hundred bucks. One sold back about two, three years ago for 50. Glenn Braggs. Greg Gagne. Carney Lansford. Yeah, these videos don't get lots of views, but that's okay. I'm not too concerned about how many people view my channel. For the people that do watch, they generally give feedback that they enjoy it, and for the people that don't, it's fine. Mike Greenwell. <laughs> this is back in the day where it's just... You could go pack after pack and not get anybody really good. Partly because they printed so many of these in these sets. There's a Bo Jackson. And a Mattingly back to back. Cool. Cool. Not two good cards. I might get in a bunch of those actually. Send a few in and see if they get uh, decent grades. All right. Well, it's good. I'm mm, tired. Don't know how many more of these I'll make it through. He's in, up for the Hall of Fame again this year. So is Mattingly. All right, Tony Gwynn, I'll bet you that's worth a little something. Card number 93. Let's see what a Tony Gwynn most recently sold for. Yeah, 22. PSA 10 sold for $23 back in 2018. These cards come out pretty clean. The centering looks pretty solid on these, so I don't know. We'll see. Might be worth it to send some of these in and see if I can get some PSA 10, some gem mints. That's the way it works sometimes with pop with different products. It's like you just run into some product that just really the printing process was really clean and can get a run of cards that get back good grades. I think it, a P, anytime you can get a PSA 10 card of a player who's decent, I think that's a pretty good deal. Orlando Rooms. And a Molitor. He's a Hall of Famer. 
Actually, I should put the Winfield. He's a Hall of Famer too. LMR. Yeah, put the Hall of Famers all together. <clears throat> Be kind of cool to get a bunch of these back as PSA 10s. Because this just isn't something you see very often. There's another pocket. And what I would do is I'd send these into God Baseball cards. And see if they could screen them and pick out the ones that look the best. Another Molitor. Saber again. He's on the cover of the box. Boggs. Eckersley's a Hall of Famer. Andre Dawson's a Hall of Famer. Another Boggs, Eckersley, the Hawk, of course I wouldn't get all these graded, but I could send them all in, have them take a look and see which ones they think are gem mint. I think Got Baseball Cards does a really nice job of screening their cards. They're definitely better than three stars. Three stars doesn't really even screen them. That's my local baseball card shop. They got some great stuff in their shop, but I don't think they do a particularly good job of screening cards. Whereas, got baseball cards down in Atlanta. You can tell Joe and the team, I'm looking for eights or higher with this group of cards that I'm submitting. And if they don't think it's got a legitimate shot of being an eight, they ask you if you want to have them sent back. We're gonna McGuire. So for junk, there's another Bo Jackson. Awesome. Another Mattingly. See, really it's about numbers. I mean, you get enough of these, you get enough of these in a box, four or five of them you can uh, increase your chances of getting a PSA 10 back. So as I was saying, Got Baseball Cards, they, they really do a nice job of actually really looking at your cards and evaluating them. They do it all the time. The cost is really minimal to have them screen. I think they charge like $1 more than the PSA price if you're a PSA member. <clears throat> if you use them for your sub group submission. So I've been pretty pleased with Got Baseball cards. The staff is good. Communicate where your cards are in the PSA process. There's an Eric Davis. Oh, look at these old brewers. Alfredo Griffin. Hanky. He was good for a while. Man, there's a lot of these packs in here. So, I don't know. Worth a shot. I paid 15 bucks for this box, so... If I get one PSA 10 back, I've probably made my box. So I've gotten two Bo Jacksons so far, two Mattingly's. Here's another Kirby Puckett. Of 
And these packs are 32 years old. I wish I had series two, which I could find it online. A box of 1990 series two tops big. Or I could go out to uh, um, Hopkins, see if they have any series two from 1990. Well, we haven't gotten this pack yet. Sackman, Mike Henneman, Pedro Guerrero. He had some nice seasons. <clears throat> Just kind of had the itch to open up some junk wax. You know how that goes. Those of you that like to open up junk wax. Every once in a while, it's just like, oh man, I'd like to just open up some junk wax. Super low risk. Usually, you're out 25 bucks. As opposed to 500 or 1,000 or some ungodly amount like that. I think with some of this junk wax, it's, it's the best chance you have of actually making your money back. There's a Sandberg, first Sandberg we've gotten. Tom Browning, okay, oops. 89, now I'm trying to think who won the World Series in 89. Is that the A's? Maybe it was the Dodgers, I think the Dodgers in 88. Von Hayes. Can't her back again. Ron Gant. Villardi. And another McGuire. Yeah, I'm going to send these in as a group to Got Baseball Cards and say, hey, check and see how many of these are PSA 10. There's still a few left. This is hobby news. I can't really think of anything new from Saturday that I've heard. good amount today and didn't have practice tonight. was kind of feeling there's another Bo Jackson some print defect up there but another Mattingly God you'd think I'd get 110 out of these Frankie White didn't do basketball practice I was feeling kind of a little bit under the weather earlier my son Oscar had the flu, and I was concerned that I might be getting it, so I canceled practice. The other coach wasn't going to be able to make it anyway. Plus, we had three games in a tournament last night, yesterday, so I don't know. No sense in pushing, pushing it. There's a Yount. There's a Glavin. Man, four Hall of Famers in that, that pack. I think there was another Glavin that I missed. That's all right. 
guessing it's probably worth too much on the resale piece with Tommy Glavin tops big 1990. Another Sandberg. Yeah, send these all in as a group. Might get a few that get submitted and maybe pull a couple of tens. Bob Block. Caritas, Dale Murphy, Randy Bush, Smiley, Inky. In there, last three packs. The Hawk, Billy Spires. Two more to go. Come on, one more Bo Jackson. Fredo Griffin, Cecil Lesby, Hanky, Terry Kennedy, Danny Turtable. Nope. Jeffries checklist. All right, that's it. So overall, thought I did pretty good. Looks like I got about three. I have a gloss finish, so I'm not gonna go through these. I don't wanna scratch the surface at all. Just set these aside here and all right, peace out, one love.